This week on Chicory's Maintenance, we're updating the software on our autopilot. This is a Simred AP48. And uh, the reason I'm doing this is we have FU80s, um, two of them, that allow us to steer Chicory. We don't have a wheel, as you notice. And we've updated the software on the FU80. But I would say one tenth of one percent of the time when we're underway, there's some communication difficulty between these two units and the Simred follow-up tiller has to reboot. And uh, like I said, it runs 99.9% .9 of the time. And there's a little bit of risk of when you make a change that it might get worse, but I'm hoping it actually get better. And the idea behind this is now that I've updated the FU80, the AP48 software is actually older. So I wanna make them the same version. So I'm gonna show you how this is done. So the unit's running, and there's a little trim piece here that I take off on the top and the bottom. And then there's four screws that hold that into the enclosure. And then I'm just going to reach my fingers in there and pull the unit out. And it has a um, NMA 2000 cable and you can see that there's a service port. And I'm going to try grab a tool to loosen that service port. see once I open it up that it's a USB. I have saved the updated software from my computer to a USB. I'm going to plug this in and then I'm going to go to the front screen and I'm going to hit menu. I'm going to rotate down to system. Click the center button. I'm going to go down to files and click files and you can see my mass storage there. I'm gonna go down to that, select it, and you can see the AP update software. So I'm gonna to go to there and select that. And upgrade is already selected. It's just telling me that it recognizes it and that it's 24.1 megabytes. I'm gonna click upgrade. And then I'm going to read this and it says, okay. Now it's rebooting. I think you can probably see there that it says update in progress. And there's a bar that's marching across. It says update complete. I'm going to remove the USB as suggested. I'm going to screw the service port cover back in. And then, so it's pulling this up. So I'm going to scroll down till it says accept, which is the normal startup screen. I'm going to accept it. It's back to standby. I'm just going to try a couple things just to make sure everything's working the way it should be. I'm going to first go to follow up, make sure the command goes over, and you'll see down here the rudder. So I'm going to move the rudder over. That worked. I'm going to go back to center, and then I'm going to go standby. I'm going to quick go to the computer here and go in front, and I'm going to right click and say new route and then I'm just going to make a quick route here and I'm going to activate this so now the route is activated I'm going to go to navigation just to make sure okay it sees the waypoint I'm going to say yes and you can see that it's starting to try and turn us so that's working too standby and then auto all modes are working correctly. 
So I'm very happy with the way that is. I'm going to slide the NMEA 2000 wire back in, slide it into place, and I'm going to do the reverse of what you saw me do before, but I don't think you need me to see put screws and the trim back on. So this is going to end this uh, video. I'm going to once again thank you for commenting, viewing, liking, and subscribing. I appreciate you hanging in. Until next week, bye.